Oh, hello. Welcome everyone. I'm Catfish Franklin. This here is Catfish Corner, and today's story is called Buffalo Skinners. But before I get to that, I would just like to thank you for stopping by here on YouTube, and I would also like to give a super happy shout out thank you to my patrons over there on Patreon. Thanks everybody. All right, today's story, Buffalo Skinners. This is a uh, super cool song, and I've been wanting to do it for a while. It's an old uh, Texas song, cowboy song, sort of, they say. Um, but it's, always, it's in the cowboy song, uh, very, uh, what do you call it, collection of songs, cowboy songs. So anyway, um, and Hills of Mexico is thought to be a later variant of this song after the buffalo skinning ended after the great slaughter and um, the it was basically the same story but replaced with a cattle drive and this song also is thought to possibly be a variant of an earlier song which um, is comes from the northeast United States about a group of loggers going to Canada so that's all pretty interesting. And there is one other thing I would like to mention about this song, but uh, I feel like it would uh, be a spoiler to the payoff on this song, which this song has one of the best payoffs. Um, so it's super cool, and uh, why don't we just get into it and see what it's about, and then we'll circle back around and I'll say that other thing. town of Jacksboro in the spring of 73 when a man by the name of Crego come stepping up to me he says how do you do young fellow and how'd you like to go and spend one summer pleasant Seeing as I was out of work right then, to old Crego I didn't see. This going out on the Buffalo Road depends upon your pay. But if you pay good wages and passage to and fro, I think I might go with you. Well, yes, I pay good wages and transportation, too. If you will come and go with me until the season's through. But if you try to run away and go back to Jacksboro, you'll lose your pay and starve to death. On the trail of the buffalo. Well, now we've crossed Pease River, boys. Our troubles have begun. First old tale I tried to rip. Christ, how I cut my thumb. While we were skinning those damn old stinkers, our lives they had no show. And Indians watching to pick us off while skinning the buffalo. He fed us on such sorry chuck, I wish that I was dead. It was buffalo hump and alkali water and rotten sour bread. 
the skeeters, how they worked us boys, and you know that they ain't slow. I tell you, there's no worse hell on earth than the range of the buffalo. Well, the working season was near ending, and old Trigo he did say, You boys gone and drunk too much, you're in debt to me today. Well, we coaxed him and we begged him, and then we made some demands, and then we went back to pleading, and we argued, but still it was no go. So we left his damn old bones to bleach on the plains of the buffalo. Well, now we've crossed these river boys and homeward we are bound. Nevermore in that cursed country will ever we be found. We'll go back to our wives and our sweethearts and tell others not to go. For God's forsaken that buffalo range and the damn old buffalo. Well, how about that? Pretty crazy, huh? That's the story of the Buffalo Skinners. But uh, the one thing I wanted to say about that song is that um, in 1941, a collector guy who I'm not familiar with ran across this fellow who claimed he had written the song over 60 or 70 years earlier or whatever it was, and he wanted to get it copyrighted, which... I don't think worked out for him, because this is a traditional tune at this point, but uh, he claimed a lot of his story really checks out. He said it was actually in 77, which was actually when the, the, uh, the Great Slaughter happened, but uh, he changed it to 73 to make it rhyme, and he said that uh, the, uh, the actual guy who signed up, uh, him and another guy for Skinnin' and a cook, was Mr. Ennis, and he was actually really cool and treated him great. They were out for a full year, and they all liked him and everything, but over time, um, this fella, John B. Freeman, the guy who claims he wrote it, he he just wrote this song, and he made it as a joke against uh, this Ennis character, who apparently laughed whenever they sang it, and they all thought it was like a good, good laugh and everything. And... Um, he may have just adapted that into the logger's tune, or who knows how it happened. If it, I don't even know if it really sounded the same back then, you know. But this version that I did here was kind of a, a mix of uh, Woody Guthrie, Pete Seeger, and Ramblin' Jack Elliott, or really kind of the, the DNA that went into this version of this song here. So, um, anyway, I guess that's about it. It's a cool. A cool epic tale that's kind of feels like it should be a movie or something but uh, that's Buffalo Skinner it's a great tune so uh, thank you everybody if you like this sort of thing uh, please, please feel free to um, hit the subscribe or like or comment or um, check out my patreon page it's only three dollars a month so uh, um, it's pretty cool and uh, easy to afford hopefully so anyway thank you everyone that's it and I'll see you next time